Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can add a timer on your slide in Microsoft PowerPoint. You don't need any additional plugins. We're going to use the animation for this timer. This will be like a horizontal bar. So we will have still have a lot of space for your content. You can put instructions, images and stuff like that. And then at the bottom or at the top of the slide, there will be a timer. I really like to use this kind of timer when I'm giving some kind of instruction to on some assignments to my students and then I give them like limited time that they need to do some part of that assignment in only limited time or maybe they need to prepare themselves for the assignment itself. So after the timer is down, we're going to start all together. So let me show you how we can do it. I'm going to head to insert because we will use shapes. So let's insert a nice rectangular shape like that. So the base shape will be without any fill color. So no fill color. And then we're going to use a dark gray stroke. Let's make it a little bit thicker, just like that. And now we're going to place it. And as I mentioned, the big adventure of this kind of timer is you can place it at the top or at the bottom. And we still got like almost the whole slide for your instruction for your content. All right, let's copy and paste the very same shape. And for the copy of this shape, I'm going to get rid of the stroke, no outline, but we're going to add some kind of fill color. The color is totally up to you. You can even play with gradients if you like. All right, so it's totally up to you. You can select your own color and then we'll scale it down a little bit like that. So there's a little bit of distance between this frame and the shape with color inside like that, like that, just for the visual effect. All right, now it's time for the animation. We're going to keep this frame untouched, but we're going to animate this one with the color. So let's head to animation panel. We want this to disappear slowly when the time passes. So let's head for exit animation, the one with the red color. Exit animation and we want to wipe it. From, not from the bottom to the top, but from right to left. So let's change the direction of the animation. All right, so it will disappear like this. But right now it's really, really quick. So we need to change that. Unfortunately, when you're changing the time here, using this built-in timer here for the duration, you can only go up to 59 seconds. So you cannot cross like one minute here. Take a look, I'm doing this manually to just show you this limitation. So we are aware of that. We're going all the way up and it will stop on 59 seconds. So if I play my preview for this one, Or maybe even better. Let's play the whole slide, huh? So now, I, as you can see, it's slowly disappearing. It will take exactly 59 seconds for the whole shape to disappear. So right now, this timer is set up to 59 seconds. Then the Color disappear and that's the end. And we're moving to the next thing. All right, so how we can modify the timing? What if you need more time? Five minutes, 10 minutes, right? So how we can do something like that? Let's go back to animation. And from here, we can go directly to it and check this animation timing right so right now it's on click that's correct and we got 59 seconds but from here we can override that let's give it 120 seconds and just like that we are now sitting on two minutes long timer right so if you 
let's again go for the slideshow. On my click, it will start. So now the animation for the timer starting. As you can see, it's way slower now. So it's very slowly fading away. This will take 120 seconds now, so two minutes. So this timer is set up for two minutes right now. Can you see it? It's fading away. The color is disappearing. And after two minutes, we'll reach the other end. So that's really handy. And as I showed you already, when you first set up the animation, you can get maximum 59. But if you go into details, into timing, you can override it from here. Just don't use this little triangle to go up. Just override it from keyboard. So if you go for, you can go for 600 seconds, right? And this timer will take a long time now. It will take 10 minutes to finish. And that's what I use. Sometimes I tend to use multiple timers. So I kind of want to keep track. So I double tap on the shape and I type 10. 10 minutes, that's mostly for myself, not for my students or my viewers. So I like to keep this text in like similar color. So I pick the exactly same color first, then I click more colors and make it a little bit darker. Okay, so it's very, very light. So I can easily see it, but it's not distracting from the main, main assignment. All right, guys, I think I'm going to create some duplicates for you. I will create like five minutes long version and then three minutes long version. And I will also link this little template for the timer in the description below this video. So you can download this and start using it straight away. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you are into presentation software. And I hope I will see you in the next lesson. Bye.